Hey guys, it's the team here at Authentic Mission, but this video is just me talking uh, about a project that I'm working on right now <coughs> with my new, uh, well, not new, but with a team member. Uh, he's going to be adapting a screenplay that I wrote into a um, ebook, and we'll have that done uh, in a bit. Anyway, but I'm also, like, I, I, <clears throat> I commented on this before, uh, but I wrote, I only wrote something with my assistant, but, uh, it was me saying, like, hey, I got a feature film, third draft, uh, script, ready to go, and would anybody want to take a look at it, and given the limit, uh, my limitations, with my uh, disability and given my lack of finances I'm just looking to um, sell the script I originally wanted to direct it but you know um, that couldn't uh, that can't happen because those limited resources and funding but I am interested in selling the rights to the script I believe in the script, I believe in the story, hence why we're going to be adapting into a, uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, mm. going to be adapting it into a, um, ebook, and I've studied some, um, let's call them controversial films from the late 90s to the uh, early 2000s um, and I've studied uh, camera angles and how to write certain things and I admit the subject matter is controversial but I'm doing this co this uh, I was going to say commentary but I'm doing this video because I want to get the message out there about the film I'm just looking to sell it uh, looking to sell the script for, um, I'll, I'll sell it given that I'm a first time, well not a first time writer, but a first time that I would have been published outside of doing my own work on IMDb, which you can look me up, Stephen C. Barnes on IMDb, and Stephen is spelled, uh, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, and then the middle initial C, and then Barnes, B-A-R-N-S. And again, that's IMDb, but I've done some, uh, um, I've done some short documentaries, I've done, uh, mostly short films, and I've written a couple of ebooks on Smashwords. So, um, the film is about a guy, um, who is struggling to come to terms with his past, and different guilt over that, and anger within, and confusion because he believes that he's gay, and but he also believes in God. So all of his life, he's heard you know being gay is wrong, blah blah blah. <clears throat> uh, and there's a lot of flashbacks, a lot of emotional uh, internal torture for the main character. Um, and you're just, you're walking with him on this journey, and, uh, uh, just when he feels he's starting to take charge and learn some things and gain his own spirit, um, for, uh, own individuality, the rug gets pulled out from underneath him, so, again, if anybody's interested in talking to me about this script, um, and possibly selling it, uh, I will do that for, uh, 5000 to $6,000, and the reason I throw out that number is because the, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> the, uh, first time writers of the Santa Claus, and, um, Kicking and Screaming, I believe it's called, with Will Ferrell. I'm going to look up their names in like two seconds. The uh, writers of The Santa Claus. 
Um, well, I should say my assistant's going to look it up. Steve Rudnick. Okay, Steve Rud, Steve Rudnick and Ben Benuti, actually too. Um, um, they sold their first script that was written in the screenwriters class, um, and of course, this isn't something you should usually expect to get your first script published. But they were told, don't you know? It expect that your first script is going to be published. Don't put too much thought into that and they uh, they did go on to write on the rebirth of the Carol Burnett show when they tried to bring it back in the early 90s I mean late 80s early 90s um, and the Santa Claus actually uh, they sold the rights to the script for to Outlaw Productions for a uh, um, ten thousand dollars, <coughs> and somebody said to me when I commented on that, and I said that, "Oh well, no, you must be wrong. It was also it must have been an option." Blah blah blah. Yes, I went back. I looked back at the uh, documentary. I still have the documentary, and uh, to a sense, this person that made that comment was right, it was optioned, but originally Outlaw Productions bought the script for $10,000. Then, it was optioned by Walt Disney under their uh, Hollywood Pictures logo, and Hollywood Pictures was mostly well known for arachnophobia and the really bad 90s or late 80s movie of the Mario Brothers. Um, anyways. <clears throat> so yes, Mr. Person that tried to give me that advice on Facebook. Yes, it was optioned off, but they also optioned it off for another nine, for almost another million dollars, which that had to be split between the writers and Outlaw Productions. So... Um, I understand you were trying to give me another way to look at it, and whoever this was that made that comment, but I am a geek, I am a true film geek, I do look this stuff up, and I try to look it up in more than one source, so yes, I am, uh, I am a film geek, I know these things, I study it to the point of annoying the crap out of my mom and different people um so i i understand you were trying to give me another way to look at it and mr say to me well maybe you should rewrite it and make it perfect there is no such thing as making a screenplay perfect there isn't you can ask any writer and we can all think this film's perfect that film's perfect but any writer will tell you that they're never truly 100 percent satisfied because they're always like, oh, maybe this part should be a little bit better. So, to quote a friend of mine, or an acquaintance of mine, I should say, a screenplay or a novel is never truly finished. It's merely abandoned. So, uh, do I think that there could be a little bit of rewriting to be done on the script? Yeah, but I'm willing to listen to the producers as long as, excuse me, they're willing to see why I feel we can push the envelope a little bit and deal with these issues deal with these issues and uh <coughs> <coughs> stupid cold um I do think that we can have uh, important subject matters that may may make people feel uncomfortable, but there's countless films out there that are a little odd and and like to push the button. Um, I'll give you one example. The Heart is Deceitful Above All Things from 19... Nope. Nope. I almost screwed up. From 2004 with uh, Cole and Dylan, or was it just Dylan? Cole and Dylan Sprouse 
uh, who are now in college or just out of college or whatever. And uh, J- Jimmy Bennett. Uh, Jimmy's recently been in the new Star Trek movies, and but he did get a start years ago on Daddy Daycare playing the little kid that dressed up as the Flash. Um, then he went on to Evan Almighty, that, then he went on to, uh, various, various projects, he's still acting to this day, so, he's not a wreck, uh, child actor, anyway, that film, Heart is Deceitful Above All Things, I couldn't even watch it all, it, but I mean, if that film can be made to push buttons, and for shock value, Let's make a film about a guy struggling to find himself and let's deal with important issues, not for shock value, but more for, hey, let's talk about this. So, if, again, one last thing. If anybody wants to talk to me about this film, comment. Uh, if anybody wants to talk to me about buying the rights to the script, comment. But I want uh, certain guarantees in the contract such as um, not only with buying the rights to the script um, I want if this truly gets me which I will push and I will bug and I will help you try to get the message out there to do the film so I'm not just going to sell the script and walk away and, and become one of those writers just for money I will help if I can. I don't care if I'm in the office and being somebody's gopher. If I can be in the industry and and, and, and be on the set and watch my film be made and, and uh, be a technical advisor, maybe, but more of just helping out where I can and be on set and be uh, at the premiere... Um, <clears throat> Then let's talk. Let's get this script made. Peace. Peace.